the uh, opportunity to go out and play out west and play in your first Big Ten game? Um, we're definitely excited. Um, been to Cali one time playing football before back in high school. It was a great vibe over there. Um, definitely just Rose Bowl Stadium, all that. Just excited to play and compete against um, my first Big Ten game for sure. Where'd you play in California before? Uh, De La Salle. You know, De, you know De La Salle is in like the San Fran area. So, um, yeah, pretty good. The game was fun there. Um, put, we put it on the board, but it was, it was fun. <laughs> I know you've talked about the team has talked about it, and certainly coach has talked about it being a business trip. How do you square that part of it? But also kind of the excitement of your first Big Ten game going to, to yeah. an iconic venue. How, how do you balance those things out? I mean, we, we know what we're there for. We're going, we're there to go handle business. But, you know, you always got to appreciate the moments that you're in. I try to do that every single day because, you know, I'm, I don't know the last next time I'm going to be in the Rose Bowl Stadium. So I'm just trying to take in the moments and enjoy it while I can. Did you learn anything from that trip to Utah State last year, the jam you guys, uh, you know, in terms of traveling out west and then what that entails, what the challenges are? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think uh, if I remember correctly, we were we were up a lot in that game. Um, then we just kind of sort of just uh, took their foot, took our foot off their necks, and they started to come back. So we just gotta stay in the moment, um, every play, and just keep on going. Is it? Can you get lag if you don't get enough sleep? I mean, what is it like to? I mean, is that a kind of a? Does coach talk to you about that at all to try um, to have a good routine? This yeah, Dio, our strength coach, he's already sending us travel tips, like compression, wearing compression stuff on the um, planes that help swelling and what is it like three three hour time difference? So it's a little, it's a little, um, takes a little use to get into, but it's not bad. Talked about how Coach Signetti's trying to instill this business mentality in the team. What specific things has he said this week to instill that mindset in you guys? I just keep the main thing, the main thing, you know, eliminate the clutter, um, just go out there and handle business, um, take it one play at a time. Uh, that's really is, there, is there a moment pregame where you're at least going to soak in that moment? And Oh, yeah. Know, um, every every pregame I do my little walk, um, stand in the end zone for a couple seconds, 30 seconds, just take in the whole stadium. Um, thank, thankful, thank God for the, where I'm at and just go from there. What does it mean to you, Sunbelt guy last year, starting out in the FCS, playing through in the Sunbelt with JMU last year, and you're going to be on NBC in the in the Rose Bowl? What does that mean to you? It's a blessing. Um, it was a time where I had where I lost all my offers, so to be here right now is uh, just got, all I can do is thank God. That's really it. Elijah, you're coming off a really impressive week. I saw you also made the top ten receiver rating list this week. What are you kind of doing this off week to bring the energy at UCLA? Um, really just do the same thing I do every week. I try, I try to uh, pride myself on coming out every single day excited. So just do that. Keep things the same. This, uh, I'm not treating this game like any like any special type game. It's a regular game. Go in there, try to do my thing. What are the most good? I want to say this is round three for you working. You know, whole new team, whole new program. Mm -hmm. At what point in 22 and 23 did you maybe realize what a team embodied? At St. Francis in last year. Oh, uh, I feel like Coach Sig and them have done a great time, great job of like teaching me the like embodiment what it, what it is as a team. On um, just everybody got to stay together. You, you're gonna have bad plays. You're gonna have good plays. No matter no matter what, you just gotta stick together. And keep keep your head down and keep going. You feel like you have a sense already for this team. <clears throat> Excuse me. You that? feel like you have a sense already for um, what you know this year's uh, this this year's who's your team embodies. Yeah, um, toughness, um, really toughness. That's, toughness takes us a long way. If we keep on being tough, we keep on stacking days, sky's the limit for us. How what close? Is, go ahead. What is it about being a receiver that, that you like? You could have played other positions, I'm sure, but what, what, is, it, what is it about receiver? That Scoring touchdowns. Uh, one of the best feelings ever, just hearing the crowd, um, yelling, you knowing you did something for your team, scoring touchdowns. Um, Running routes, I love the art of running routes. It's really art, artistry out there. If you look at just the way we stem our routes, the way we try to set people up, make it look like some that it's not, just everything that goes in the receiver. I love it all, everything about it. And the communication with the quarterback in order to, so you both read at the same time, how, how much work? Um, it, take, it works every day. Um, we have to work on every state. We're, I'm still, in a, me and Kurt still not 100% where we want to be, but we know we're going we're gonna to get there if we keep on working. It's my third new quarterback I've had since I've been in the college, so it's definitely a process, but uh, I enjoy the process for sure. Anybody you studied receiver-wise? You said about, you know, kind of artistry. Is there guys that you look at on film? I try, I try to watch everybody, honestly. Um, I need to watch more, but just I try to take anything from anybody. They can be younger than me. They can be older than me. If I see something that I like that, that they do, I try to instill it in my game. Thirteen guys came from James Madison with Kurt Signetti. When he and you guys got here, you guys were a little bit ahead of 
the rest of the roster in terms of what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. How close do you feel now that that's kind of faded out and the team is kind of one unit kind of moving in the same direction without having to learn like um, new things? Real close. I feel like uh, we're definitely, we're almost there. Um, you just got to uh, keep on building on that every single day in the weight room and meetings, just anywhere we're at, we got to have that culture that um, we're going to do everything to our best ability. But we're, we're definitely getting there. You're playing in your first Power Four conference game in your career. What are the emotions behind that? Um, well, not, not, nothing, nothing crazy. I'm excited, of course, blessed, of course. But, you know, same thing. Same thing as uh, we're playing Western Illinois, in my opinion. Just go out there and do my thing, you know? What have you seen on film from the corners? Kirkwood and Davies, I think, have started for them in their first game. Uh, what's your, what are your thoughts? Uh, they're good guys for sure. Um, Cali DBs, West Coast DBs, they always got that swag about them, you know. But um, they changed their coverages up a lot. Excited to battle against them for sure. What's been the biggest thing you've worked on going into this season and your game? On um, just little things, improving my body. Changed my diet a lot um, this off season. I try to cut out fried foods. Um, it was hard, not gonna lie. Um, but um, just little stuff like that, um, just details. Just trying to improve every single day, you know. Who's your go-to guy to sit next to on the plane? I don't know, hopefully I have a seat in between. My, my <laughs> knees be hurting, so I kind of need some leg space a little bit, but someone small, I don't care. As long as it's not, no one huge, you know. <laughs> you know who, do you know who your roommate is? Oh, I'm not sure. I had the Mac the first week, and then Charlie B was with me this week, so we'll see. One of them guys, probably. Take two more. Is your brother's nickname Cheese? Yeah. Um, he used to whine a lot as a kid, and then my parents used to be, do you want cheese with that wine? And <laughs> <laughs> did, you get a, did you get a similar unique nickname? No, nickname they, I, no? I guess they ain't like me enough. I, <laughs> I, I just got regular old E. <laughs> no, no other nickname from teammates either? Uh, nah, not, not really. Not that I can think of. Nothing special, you know? Did, but Cheese was your brother, so. Yeah, I try Waffle House. Y'all can, can say Waffle House because I'm open 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Elijah. Appreciate it.